I now give the floor to the distinguished representative from the Netherlands. <clears throat> Dear Mr. Co-Chair, the Netherlands welcomes the zero draft and considers it a notable improvement of the pre-zero draft. We believe that the zero draft will serve as a good basis for the negotiations that are starting or have started uh, today. We equally welcome the first elements paper on the Sendai Declaration. We support the EU statement and would like to share the following general comment, comments to be reflected in the Declaration. The Sendai Declaration, in our view, should transmit three main messages. A. The strong urgency that we as member states all feel with regard to strengthening disaster risk reduction. B. The need for concrete and lasting commitment and C the joint responsibility all of us share at different levels as governments, private businesses or local communities. We need to be in this together. Second, more emphasis should be given to the positive contribution disaster prevention and risk reduction can make in supporting inclusive, sustainable growth. And third, stimulating green growth is the best way to prevent risk creation in development processes. This requires integration of ecosystem-based solutions and the sustainable management of land and water resources. Fourth, policy coherence is the key to success. Merely un underlining the link with the post-2015 development agenda and other important international agreements is not enough. We believe that the new framework for action should recognize a strong interdependence with the post-2015 development agenda and the other international processes. Accountability, monitoring and financial, financial arrangements for cooperation should be coordinated and aligned. Fifth, in view of global changes such as climate change, preventive action has to deal with many uncertainties. The ARR scenario building is one of the utmost importance. Long-term scenarios are crucial elements for adaptive capacity building. And sixth, finally, we would like to underline again the importance of private sector involvement in DRR and the need for multi-stakeholder partnerships. Also, the local level, at the local level, for the successful implementation of DRR measures. Local, national and international stakeholders should be able to fully understand and take up their role within the post-2015 framework. Thank you very much. I thank the distinguished representative from the Netherlands.